Tensions between Korea and Japan have been rising for about a month after Tokyo recalled its diplomats from Korea over the installation of a statue commemorating or dedicated to the victims of Japan's wartime sexual slavery. But after a series of provocative remarks from Japan, the tension could continue. Lee ji has a full story. The diplomatic tension between Korea and Japan may remain longer than expected. After meeting with its foreign minister Fumio Kishida on Thursday, Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe said Tokyo will hold off on sending both its ambassador to Korea and its Busan consul general back to Korea for the time being. According to Japanese media on Friday, Abe and Kishida agree that they do not have to make the next move unless Korea shows a change in its stance. Japan recalled the two envoys 12 days ago in protest against the Korean civic group's installation of a comfort woman statue in front of the consulate in the southern Korean port city of Busan. Amid the ongoing tension, the Japanese government is taking another issue with the website for the Pyeongchang Winter Olympics. It claims that the official website's references to Korea's easternmost Tokdo Island, which features a group of islets among a number of tourist spots and a map of Korea with Tokdo on it, violates the Olympic Charter, which bans political declarations. Japan's Kyoto News Agency on Friday quoted a government official as saying that Tokyo's foreign ministry maintains that the islets are Japanese territory and are called Takeshima. Japan has made repeated claims to Tokdo since the end of its colonial rule of Korea in 1945, and its latest claim is being seen as a way to make it seem as if the islets are part of a territorial dispute. Experts say the growing tension may further stall the thorough execution of the Seoul-Tokyo landmark agreement on the comfort woman issue, which was signed in December of 2015. Part of the agreement has been carried out, including the establishment of a foundation to help the surviving victims of Japan's wartime sexual enslavement. And although there was no specific clause regarding the removal of statues commemorating victims in the agreement, Korea worked to solve the issue in an appropriate manner. But as Japan is not getting a result at once, there has been no further proceedings. The expert added the Korean government must take a firm stance regarding the issue of the statue in Busan. But he also suggested the government needs to put more efforts into seeking the public support for the landmark agreement on the comfort woman issue. Lee Ji-won, Arirang News.